Introduction to the Letters of the New Testament Following the story told in the four Gospels and in the Book of Acts is a series of letters, actual letters, written primarily to newly formed churches. Preserved for our benefit, too, they are included in the New Testament. The apostles nourished the believers in these young churches through letters that were read and circulated to encourage right thinking about God, themselves, and others. The Apostle Paul wrote the first 13 of these letters, starting with a letter to the followers of Jesus who lived in Rome. Introduction to Romans The Book of Romans was a letter sent to the young church in Rome. The Apostle Paul wrote the letter never having been there, but he looked forward to visiting. Others who had come to faith in Christ founded the church. This letter was written in A.D. 57 or 58 from the city of Corinth in Greece. This important letter is the most formal of Paul's letters. He writes like a skilled lawyer presenting the case for God's plan of salvation. The teaching was desperately needed by a church that had not previously received the instruction of an apostle. Romans is the most comprehensive, systematic statement of Christian faith in the Bible. It simply explains the gospel of God, yet its message is so profound that it can be pondered for a lifetime. Other themes include understanding God's holiness, defining what sin is, pointing out our need to be forgiven, showing how we can live better than we are, and explaining God's loving and fair ways of dealing with all people. Remember as you listen that Paul eventually did go to Rome. He went as a prisoner of the Roman government, where he eventually died. His faithfulness to the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ and to the people whom he so dearly loved eventually cost him his life. But now, because of Paul's words and commitment, we too can know how to have peace with God and receive eternal life.